Hi all, I have an absolutely stunning game to show you today. John van der Wil, a Dutch Grandmaster, playing against a, an up-and-coming international master, Max Wormadam, who is playing black in this game. So this was actually in a very special format for the Batavia tournament of 2019, where they used two Blitz games, and then an Armageddon if it was a tie, and then the classical game. The classical game given more weight in, in terms of points. And this was one of the Blitz games, so five minutes with a three second increment. So Fast and Furious, setting the scene here. Okay, let's have a look. E4 from Jean van der, van der Wiel. And we have E5, Knight F3, Knight C6, and now the Scotch game, which has been popularized again recently by Kerry Sparov coming out of retirement, in my view. This is quite popular now, the Scotch game. So E takes, Knight takes. We have bishop c5, a critical test, knight b3, the bishop drops back, a4, it looks absolutely standard so far. An alternative to a4, a major alternative here is knight c3, knight f6, queen e2, d6, and white is thought to have a small edge. Okay, but a4 is a very popular move as well, trying to win this bishop with a5 potentially. We have a6. Knight c3, knight f6, and it looks as though black is being punished here after bishop g5 with the bishop here. This looks like, like a nasty pin. h6, bishop h4, d6, and now, usually actually, it's very tempting to play knight d5. Usually bishop d3 is played here. For example, bishop e6, queen e2, white is treading with caution usually not to castle kingside and say this position is thought to be um, uh, this is quite interesting even if black gains a pawn there there's good compensation for white on the c file black m might have a small edge there uh, technically another way to play this instead of queen e2 just to show the dangers of castling here g5 is quite energetic with h5 so this looks like one of my caveman attacks but this is actually quite justifiable here after knight d7 giving the idea of g takes and black can end up with a great position for example like this can end up with a fantastic position from the opening and uh, black's just much better there so white has to tread very carefully in this variation white played a very tempting move knight d5 here which seems yeah very very logical in some respects can you guess what black played in this position if I give you five seconds to pause the video? So you might want to do, this is a real test of your calculation skills if you can see what black played here. Okay, black played knight takes e4. And you might think, well, hold on, the queen's hanging. White's best move here might actually be queen h5 in this position. So protecting the bishop and say g5, then actually it's not that bad. Uh, you know, black's got a, a small edge only here. It's, it's compensation for the pawn sack. Uh, but white tested black here on this. Bishop takes d8. So what did black have in mind? We have now bishop takes f2 check, the first forcing move, king e2, and now bishop g4 check king d3 and the idea is not to take the queen but there's a fantastic move played in this position i wonder if you can guess okay knight e5 check and that stopped the king going to c4 king takes f5 check and that pawn is taking away escape squares of the king here setting up potential mates after king f4 we have and the final move knight g6 chat mate so yes what a what a blitz game that was in fact black can't even slip up here with g5 just yet because after bishop takes that's still taking away the parking space of g5 so knight g6 is mate there and in fact the position is so bad even if even if hg uh, and then king takes uh, black is still winning this position. Uh, it's it's just so dangerous for, for White's King now, for example, like this. 
so yeah but this is the most concise just to checkmate there uh, sparkling finish there from what is quite a popular opening at the moment the scotch game so you might want this in your uh, repertoire against the scotch to try you know tempt this knight d5 I hope you enjoyed this game video it's inspired by one of the amazing game examples of pawns on the attack you can see the kingscrusher.tv slash pawns on the attack link if you want to go there that goes to a this amazing course at Chessable, which is for free by Alan B, Alan Bester. And he's also done a number of On the Attack series, which are all free as well to check out. So I hope you check that out. Okay. Thanks very much.